Are you wondering if any of the foods you're eating could be making your joint pain or arthritis pain worse? Yes, some of it could. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Foods to avoid when you have joint pain and arthritis pain. Hi, I'm Dr. Shelley Meyer, and for the best advice on reclaiming your health and vitality, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified every Thursday when I post a new video. If you want to find ways to reduce your joint pain and arthritis pain naturally, then let's start with diet. I'm Dr. Shelley Meyer. I'm a registered dietitian and nutritionist, as well as a family medicine doctor and a functional medicine doctor. So I work with many patients with re, on how to reduce their joint pain and arthritis pain naturally. So let's get started and let's talk about the foods that could contribute and trigger inflammation and joint pain. One would be gluten and wheat. Now this doesn't happen for everyone, but that's one of the major things we start with when we're doing an elimination diet and trying to work on trigger foods that could trigger inflammation and joint pain. So we want you to reduce or to avoid gluten and wheat products for at least 21 days to see if that makes a difference in your joint pain and arthritis pain. Number two would be processed oils, um, sunflower oil or safflower oil, even some of the canola oils, definitely um, corn oil, they have a lot of omega-6s in them. And omega-6s are a type of fatty acid that we need some of, but we need them to be in balance. And in standard American diet, we're way out of balance with too much omega-6s and too little omega-3s, and the omega-3s are anti-inflammatory. So one way to work on it is just to read your food labels and to avoid those processed oils. Hi, it's future me coming to you because somehow I lost my clip for food number three. So food number three is processed foods and flours. Um, so that encompasses a big group of foods. And that is one of the most important ones you should consider eliminating if you're having joint pain from arthritis. So processed flours, meaning anything that's ground down into flour, more so with like a wheat based type, like a wheat flour. But even some of the rice flours and um, alternative flours could potentially cause some inflammation. They generally have less of a impact on your blood sugar, so they have less inflammatory um, triggers. But just paying attention to anything ultra processed like pastas, um, cakes, cookies, crackers, that kind of thing, a processed food or a packaged food that if it has more than five ingredients in it and um, you don't know what some of those ingredients are or it has a lot of um, preservatives in there, then that's a good thing to leave out when you're trying to um, eliminate joint pain. And number four would be to avoid any kind of burnt or charred food that can be a trigger for inflammation and joint pain. Number um, five would be nightshades. These can sometimes cause, particularly with rheumatoid arthritis, can cause inflammation and joint pain. And sometimes that carries over into even osteoarthritis as well. So nightshades can be found in potatoes, in tomatoes, in eggplant. There are even some herbs like ashwagandha that can be nightshades. Now I haven't seen people be as sensitive to the ashwagandha, but sometimes they are. So definitely pay attention to nightshades if you're trying to figure out what if you've tried the other things and you're trying to figure out any other triggers, because those can be a big trigger for joint pain. And then number um, six would be sugar. So sugar can take a lot of forms. The worst offenders being the highly processed sugar, like um, high fructose corn syrup or fructose corn syrup of, or, or corn syrup of any kind like that. Um, but also even the natural sugars like honey, um, could be inflammatory for some folks. So definitely staying away from the very processed sugars and the processed foods in general, but even paying attention to some of the more natural sugars and seeing if those are a trigger for you. And then number seven would be dairy. So this is not, like I said, just like with the gluten and the wheat and the sugar, well, sugar is not good for most of us, but with the gluten and the wheat, Dairy is not always a trigger for joint pain for everyone, but it's worth a try if you're having joint pain and arthritis pain to eliminate dairy for 21 days as well. You could do it the same time that you eliminate gluten, or you could do them kind of progressively just to get more information. It takes longer, but it can um, help you really key into what might be triggering your joint pain and inflammation. So those are your um, seven foods to avoid when you're having joint pain and inflammation. And now that you 
have some ideas on what can worsen the joint pain and inflammation, I want you to check out in the description down below my anti-inflammatory eating plan. It's going to be a PDF that you can sign up for. And um, that will give you tips on how to then use foods to reverse the inflammation. And so you're going to avoid the triggers and then you can add in more anti-inflammatory foods. So thanks for joining me today. I'm Dr. Shelley Meyer. If you want to work with me, my, all of my information is down in the description down below. And you can also um, catch me on all the, any of the other social media. Thanks for joining me. Hit the subscribe button, like or share this video, and hit the bell to be notified when I post every Thursday. Thanks. Thank you.